Hello and welcome to Into the Impact of Pornography on Young People, Part 2, with me, Claire Bellman, Deputy Head Pastoral, and Jonathan Thornton, Assistant Head Pastoral. Hello and today we continue our conversation around young people and the impact of pornography. Uh, Dame Rachel D'Souza's report cites an anecdote from her uh, previous life as a school leader where she describes a young girl who told her about her first kiss with her boyfriend, age 12, who strangled her. He'd seen it in porn and thought it was normal. And we've got to remember that Exposure to pornography does affect young people more because their brains are developing at such a fast rate. That means their brains are also also have higher plasticity, which basically means their, their brains are influenced more than that of adults. And that is leading to problems such as desensitivity to sexual imagery and potentially addiction as well. And actually, some of this new porn that's out there that is targeting young people is actually actively trying to change sexual preferences using the techniques of hypnosis as part of that. Absolutely. And we need to educate young people about the fact that pornography is performed by actors and actresses and they are working in the entertainment industry and the images that they watch, the videos they watch, are not an accurate depiction of a healthy sexual relationship. We also need to think about aesthetics and the pressures on our young people to look and act a certain way. And actually, they need to know that there's lights, there's camera angles, there's directors, there's makeup, there's costumes. There's an awful lot of work that goes into making these pornographic videos look the way they do. Uh, And that in real life, it's just simply not like that. So what can we do about it? Well, we need to open the conversation with young people about pornography and that is really, really challenging. Yeah, it's possibly the most difficult conversation you're going to have with your children, let's face it. So how do we do it? We talk hypothetically. If you were to come across this, if you saw this, you know, make it very clear that you're not talking about them personally, you're not accusing them of anything, you're just sending those safety messages. And we know it's a really difficult conversation to have and we're always at the end of the phone if you have any worries, any concerns, want any advice or just want to continue the conversation, please do just get in touch.